Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to Maine Travels. I am, um, it's a typical Sunday around here and I'm super busy. Um, we just got back from a sending off down at the docks for my brother-in-law and his new wife and they are on their way up the coast of Maine sailing and the wedding was yesterday which is beautiful and now I have a lot of produce to process. Um, James and I shot up to the farm this morning and got as many tomatoes as we can to make some tomato sauce. So we got this half bushel here and another half bushel down there and it's got some cucumbers on it and then more here and more there and more here and it just is never ending and so today I'm going to make um, our version of tomato sauce before some of our tomatoes start to rot. This guy, I just picked it two days ago and it's already soft and getting, turning into mush. So what I'm mainly using is San Marzano tomatoes. Um, these are similar to Aroma. Um, they're less seedy, so that's good because I don't remove the seeds when I make sauce. They are supposed to be sweeter and less acidic. At this moment though, I would say that I'm not a huge fan because they're very, they just seem dry. So I may or may not use them next year for sauce. Oh, there's another one with this black, I don't know if it's the start of raw or if it's what that is, but it's gross. Get rid of that one. Alrighty. So after a good half hour of cutting and slicing and dicing, Adding our olive oil. We got these jukebox going. Sizzling away. Probably not enough room in those pots. Maybe one more. Oh, there we go. One more. We're also going to try some sauce with our slicer tomatoes. I don't even remember what these are called, but they're massive. And the reason we're going to do that is because, as you can see on this one, any of the cracks that we've gotten are starting to rot. So we're gonna cut those pieces out and continue on. James is over here adding things that he's not supposed to be no. adding. Basil, just basil. Just basil. Just basil, we're gonna put some fresh garlic in. A little bit of salt. That's a lot, well, a little bit of salt. So that's a lot of tomatoes. So I put in a good healthy serving of basil, dried. We don't have any fresh with us. Unfortunately. No fresh because we found rats eating our fresh basil outside. <coughs> Ew. Rats. So I know this is some sort of a um, an heirloom variety. As I can tell just by that beautiful color on the inside there. And I can't cut one handed. Do it. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Okay, off to go, next pot. Mm. So good. Okay, so these pots are coming along. We've added everything we're gonna add. Including the salt. Oh, we haven't added the salt. Good call. Look how beautiful that is. So, anyhow, I think that we don't need to cook this for very long because it's going to be processed in the canner. My husband, on the other hand, thinks it should be cooked down to what? To mush? Not to mush, just, uh, you know, good, at least an hour or so. What do you think and how do you process your tomatoes? Okay, so these guys have been on here for about 20 minutes. Do you have the ingredients for I'm probably going to take back what I said about the San Marzano tomato because that looks like a delicious sauce. 
and we will hand blend it before we put it in the jars to be processed. But we don't bother taking the skins off and we don't bother taking the seeds out because we're a little bit lazy we're bad people. and we can, we can blend them. Okay, so our immersion blender apparently is broken. <laughs> so we're moving on to a regular blender. I wouldn't try this at home. If I, were, if I were you, I wouldn't try this at home. It's hot sauce going into a blender. But this is how we avoid um, taking the skins off and it seems to be working pretty well. Don't you think? Oh yeah. And watch me burn the ever-loving bejesus out of myself. We did add a little brown sugar to the sauce and right now I didn't show the process of canning them but if you know anything about canning it's pretty basic and here's our second round of sauce Ooh, right there which is the slicing tomatoes and actually with some brown sugar and some salt it tastes relatively like the um, the Roma style tomatoes. Sorry, I'm tired. It's been a long day and this has taken a couple of hours. So I am ready to be done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you add to your sauces so I can try it next time. And um, don't forget to subscribe and please comment. I love to read them um, and I'll definitely get back to you. And take care and have a nice night. Bye guys.